Field Ice Arena in Colmar, Pennsylvania. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Triple A Flyers Cup Final. As tonight, it's the number one seed LaSalle Explorers set to take on the number two seed Firebirds of Holy Ghost Prep. You know, I think these two teams are destined to do this forever. My name is Mike Sampson, so we welcome you inside the broadcast booth. What a great one this should be this evening. LaSalle comes into this game following a 3-0 victory in the semifinals over Malvern Prep. Holy Ghost Prep needed overtime to knock off St. Joe's Prep. But in that overtime period, it was John Saravelli to net the game winner. And on the other side for the LaSalle Explorers, their outstanding goaltender is Aries Karangi. No one has solved him as of yet in this tournament. Has not surrendered a goal. The goal scores for LaSalle in that 3 0 win over Malvern were Evan Galato. James Carpenter and Charlie Kennedy. It is a balanced attack for LaSalle as it has been for most of the year. The standout for the Firebirds is their captain, Brady Basher, but also really having a great run throughout this tournament for Holy Ghost as they won their first game 10 to one. It was Sean Moore who's had quite the outing. He's had five goals so far in this Flyers Cup tournament. Colin Mudrick has stood tall as needed. He will have to play a brilliant game tonight because as we said, LaSalle has not surrendered a goal in their one game in the tournament. And the biggest thing that will stand out to me in this game is the physicality and how it is officiated. LaSalle loves to come out and take the body. They love to give that check. Sometimes they love to give the extra check. If that is going to be called tonight, that will play in the favor of Holy Ghost. It will be easy for the Firebirds to get caught up in all the extracurriculars. That's exactly what LaSalle wants you to do. You have to keep your head about you and you have to keep your nose clean if you are the Firebirds. If you are LaSalle, hey, there's a reason you're wearing the white jerseys in this game. 12, eight and one on the season. The number one seed in the Flyers Cup tournament. And you've got an absolutely outstanding goaltender between the pipes in Aries Karangi. Have a ceremonial puck drop coming up here to explain. Here's public address announcer Stu Fishman. <laughs> ceremonial puck drop from the folks representing Philadelphia Blind Hockey, something incredibly special and incredibly important to the Flyers Cup, the Philadelphia Flyers and the Flyers Cup committee as well. The AAA final is coming up. It's LaSalle, it's Holy Ghost Prep, and it's next here on the Flyers Cup YouTube channel, powered by SFBN. Holy Ghost Prep, it's more than a school. It's a brotherhood where students can thrive on campus, where lifelong friends are made, where students can get involved and expand the horizons of their knowledge. 
a place where community is built on the field and in the classroom with teachers, friends, and coaches. The Brotherhood at Holy Ghost is what makes this place so special. It's what makes Holy Ghost Prep home. To learn more, go to www.thinkghost.org. I feel like LaSalle is one of those high schools where every single sport team is a really good sports team. Joining a team or a club, it really gives you that sense of brotherhood that I think most kids look for at LaSalle. I'd say the coaches are, uh, are supportive because they're constantly encouraging you and they want what's best for you as well. We have everything on campus that we could ever imagine. And we all look out for one another. We want to help each other succeed. Make sure that we all can reach our maximum potential. When you spend so much time together with your brothers, you really develop a bond that's just unbreakable. is it's prideful spirited fiery a blue hen never backs down from a challenge and we're there to support them Delaware orthopedic specialist the official orthopedic partner of University of Delaware athletics Haddon Planning Group is an independent financial advisory firm serving all Flyers fans across the country. Located in Pennsylvania since 1981, we will offer a free financial plan to all parents of student athletes participating in the Flyers Cup. For more information about our services, go to HaddonPlanning.com or call Jake Reardon at 856-428-5300. Haddon Planning... Your surprisingly great rates? Contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Eldion Pagulary in Feasterville, Trevose today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. We we'll welcome you back to the Flyers Cup YouTube channel. Powered by SFBN, just about set to drop the puck. Two APAC teams meeting yet again in the AAA Flyers Cup Final this evening. It is LaSalle College High School against Holy Ghost Prep. Starting goaltenders in tonight's game, Aries Karangi. Aries Karangi is between the pipes for the Explorers. 10 and two on the regular season, a 1.70 goals against average and a 9-2-1 save percentage. He doesn't give up much. And on the other side for Holy Ghost Prep, it's Colin Mudrick, 6-3 on the season, a 1.47 goals against and an 8.49 save percentage as we are underway. Crunching hit early as the puck rolls around behind the net of Mudrick. Lippy gets crushed into the boards. Oh, that's a dangerous hit. Glad to see Lippy is okay, and that is a dangerous penalty to take early. And an unnecessary one as well. Oh, are they not going to call that? Oh, my goodness. Well, if that's going to be allowed, that is certainly something. Desmond will take the face off against number 17, Stout, and it's cleared down. This will be icing. That player was completely defenseless up against the boards, Ryan Lippy. I'm glad to see he's okay. A tone setter early. Desmond and Stout again on the draw. Off the draw. It's poked around in the circle and rolled back to the right point. Shot on through traffic. Mudrick makes the first stop of the night off the right-handed stick of Thomas Ducet. Play whistle down, 31 seconds in. 
And it will be an offensive zone draw for the Explorers. Ronnie Selzer, or check it, that's Sean Moore out there to take the draw against Michael Zarzicki. And it's controlled. Sluck behind the net, clears it out to center. Settled there by Ryan Warner. Pass across to Giordano, but poked away by Moore, who tries to work in transition. Moore into the offensive zone on the right wing, gets swept to the boards, puck cleared to the line, not out, kept in. Cervelli down low, has it poked away. Mulholland jostles it, but it rolls back to center. Sluck in his own end, plays it across to Chambers. Banged off the boards and back to center. Chambers in his own end. Mulholland gives to Moore. Left wing into the offensive zone. Moore in shot wide, partially deflected by Warner. Rebound controlled in the corner and skated out through center by LaSalle. Julian Tarsi will throw it around behind the net of Mudrick. Chambers is on it first. Selzer is crunched into the boards as the puck is played to the point. Through traffic, deflected. The shot from Ross ends up up over the glass and out of play. It will remain an offensive zone draw to the blocker side of goaltender Colin Mudrick. Patrick Brace against Selzer. Back to the point, unable to control, and now it's a race. Able to win it is Declan Kelly. Morgan in his own end bangs it out to center, but that one, as play is going to be whistled down, must have touched out of play. And so the faceoff will be just outside the offensive zone for the Explorers, who have the first two shots of the game. Holy Ghost yet to get one on net. Off the faceoff. It's controlled by Holy Ghost. Morgan bangs it off the wall, not out. Kept in. Wittick rolls down low. Brendan Schultz plays it up the boards and out to center. Basher unable to settle the bouncing puck that time. Instead, it's Morgan who takes a crunching hit from Charlie Kennedy. Kelly throws it around behind the net. Brendan Schultz, right side for Holy Ghost. Gives it forward to Basher, racing forward. On the right wing, trying to work into the zone. Crunched off it by Hannon and Kelly. As play is going to be whistled down, we're going to have our first penalty of the night. It's going to be a slashing call on Declan Kelly. And Holy Ghost Prep will go on the power play. First special teams opportunity for either game tonight, or for either team tonight. Landon Stout and Ryan Desmond to take the draw. Controlled by LaSalle, played up the boards, held in by Basher, right point. Rolled down low, Mulholland to Stout, shoots! And that one just wide. Rebound, Cerevelli at the point. Five forwards out on this power play for Holy Ghost. Moore down low, plays to Mulholland. Skates bottom of the right circle, puts it in the slot, skipping puck, finds Basher, now Moore. Roll down low and Stout. Behind Karangi, in front, rolls all the way through, back to Cervelli at the point. Basher down low, lets it go to Mulholland, and now Moore. 30 seconds gone on the man advantage. Moore, off the boards to Stout, left point, bomb, save made by Karangi. Rebound back to the point, Stout again, fires wide, off the boards, looking for Basher on the rebound. Doesn't find him, Desmond can't clear. Played down in the slot, this one is swatted to Hannon, who gets it out to center. 60 seconds gone on the man advantage. Landon Stout in his own end. One of the alternate captains for Holy Ghost Prep. Plays it on the right wing for Johnny Cervelli. Into the offensive zone, left off Purse. Down low Cervelli. Trying to play it in front. Does through the goal mouth. Nobody home and all the way back to center. Stout's got a chase after it. 40 seconds remains on the man advantage. Cervelli. Chips for Brady Basher. Trying to get into the offensive zone, knocked off the puck by Carvalho. Into the offensive zone, shot blocked down off the stick of Carpenter. Holy Ghost will move the other way. It's Purs into the offensive zone, right wing, Basher. Fans on the initial shot, tries to roll it down low. Gets blocked down, Barger skips one in on net. That is covered by Karangi. 
freezing play with 13.01 to play here in the first 17 seconds. Remaining on the penalty to Declan Kelly. Purs will take the face off against Wittick. Tied up in the circle, shot is up over the glass and out of play, deflected off the stick of Anthony Valerietz. Chambers trying to keep it in, can't do it, cleared back to center. Chambers chases. Over on the left wing, Holt. Purs and now Chambers back to five-a-side hockey. Chambers from center puts it into the bread basket of Karanji and with two firebirds closing in on the crease, he decides to freeze play with 12.40 to play here in period number one. Holy Ghost with a 4-2 advantage in shots. Nobody with an advantage on the scoreboard as of yet. Barra unable to win the draw against Brace. Puck cleared down. Will that be icing? Yes, it will. Thought that one might have touched Lippy in the neutral zone. Linesman disagrees. He's got a much better view than I do. And it will be an offensive zone draw for Holy Ghost with 12.31 to play here in the first. We remain scoreless. Double-A champions crowned earlier on tonight. It was the Pensbury Falcons defeating the defending champs, Penridge. Around behind the net, it's Kelly. Crunched to the board by Barnes. They get tied up as LaSalle skates away with it with Patrick Brace. Forward to center, LaGreca. Throws it around behind the net of Mudrick. Two at first is Holt. He'll play it up the near side, Dasher. Scrum for it at center as a player hits the deck. Spadacino trying to knock it free. LaSalle able to clear it in. Ryan Lippi will fetch in his own end. Holt weaves through center on the left wing into the offensive zone onside. Holt played back to the point after it was swept away from him. Purse was unable to hold it in. Second chance, collision there, takes out everyone including the ref as the puck is cleared to center. Chase Hannon skates forward for LaSalle. Right wing shot, pad save made by Mudrick. A juicy rebound in the slot, but LaSalle unable to get to it. It's down into the offensive zone, left wing. Shot blocked down off the boards. Purs gets the rebound, jostles it down low, but the puck gets deflected up over the glass and out of play, halting the clock with 11.16 to go here in the scoreless first period. Landon Stout will take the face off against Mike Zarzicki. Stout wins it. Basher skips a shot in that's saved. And on the rebound, LaSalle able to skate it out to center with William Gregorio. Thrown in from the wrong side of the red line, however. That'll be another icing. And so LaSalle will get an offensive zone draw. Moore and Zarzicki on the faceoff. Off the draw, it's in on Karanji. Moore puts a stick on it just to be sure, but play is frozen down. Earlier on this season, it was a 6-2 win. In fact, first game of the season for Holy Ghost defeating LaSalle as Chambers throws this one around behind the net. Warner. Gives it across to Giordano. Plays this one through center. Nobody touched it. It will roll all the way the other way, and it will be icing. It'll be another offensive zone draw for the Firebirds. That came on November 9th. They played again in Grundy. LaSalle won that one 6-5. to five. And in the APAC championship game, LaSalle won 7-3. to three. 
We'll see what happens in meeting number four. Schultz will skip this one in toward Karenji. who will play it safe and fall on top of it as Moore and Giordano share the first couple of shoves of the evening in front of the LaSalle cage. This will be the last ever Flyers Cup game for head coach Gump Whiteside retiring at the end of the season for Holy Ghost. What a legendary career he has had. Gump is hoping tonight is not his last game. Hoping to still coach the state championship game which the Firebirds will advance to with a win. Wittick plays it up the boards and jostled out to center. Manzo racing in on the right wing, tries to chip it in down low, cleared right back from where it came. Brace, crunched by Cervelli into the boards. As Schultz clears it to the line, not out. Moore, second time, does get it out to center. Declan Kelly takes the hit, makes the play. Tarsi onside, rolls it down low. But Lippy to it for the Firebirds. Played up the boards and out to center. Cameron Ross plays it in. Brace down low, fans on the shot. Rebound. Rolled into the corner. Valeriat trying to poke it free. Sells her down there for Holy Ghost as well as the puck is pitch forked out to center. Valeriat trying to settle the bouncing puck there. Knocked down at the line. Able to pick it up. Declan Kelly numbers for LaSalle. Left wing. Kelly in down low. Backhand into the slot. And cleared away. Selzer will go the other way. Two on two. A lot of open ice. Selzer leaves it off. Valeriat back to Selzer in front of the net by Barker. Rebound that is off its moorings. And Kelly throws Valeriat to the ground. We may see a penalty come out of this. It will be an offensive zone draw. No penalties, just some pushes and shoves. Stout and Ryan Desmond on the draw. Stout. Tries to sweep it back to the point and Slook, but it's jostled away and racing into the offensive zone. Hannon pokes it down low, but it's knocked away from Galato before he could ever get a real opportunity at it. Desmond, bottom of the left circle, plays it for Galato, trying to get it in the slot, poked away. Chance for numbers. Basher racing after this one. He'll get to it. Knocked into the boards by Gregorio. Purse keeps it alive, plays it up the left side boards and out to center. Stout, 8.30 to play here in the first period. It is a heavyweight fight feel early on in this one. Both teams kind of feeling each other out. At center, it's Carpenter. Rolled around behind the net of Mudrick. Chambers to it first. Plays it up the boards. Mulholland gets crunched there. Side angle shot from Carpenter is denied, and the rebound cleared to center. Mudrick out of his net, leaves it off for Slook. Up the boards, trying to find Cerevelli and does. Johnny Cerevelli to Mulholland. Back in his own end, settling the bouncing puck this time. Patrick Slook through center. Moore jostles Giordano as Slook has to try and clear for a third time. Hit the official, but Mulholland got it out to center. Cerevelli in on the right wing. Cerevelli into the slot. Mulholland deflects it toward the goaltender, Karangi who does not allow anything to unfold, dropping the big mid on top of it, freezing play with 7.38 to play here in period number one. Offensive zone draw to the glove side of goaltender Aries Karangi. Moore, shot blocked down by Wittick, who was unable to win the draw, but blocked the shot and got possession for LaSalle. Puck jostled along the boards and thrown around behind the net of Mudrick. Two at first is Morgan. Now Moore trying to sidestep some pressure in his own end. Slides it off for Brendan Schultz, who will play it forward. Mulholland 
Racing into the offensive zone on the left wing, onside down low. Cervelli tries to go through the legs with a shot attempt. Ryan Warner muted that. Cervelli down low. Warner plays it up the boards and out to center. Morgan will try and keep the pressure on, flicking it back into the right corner. Warner two at first. Weaving through center up the left wing into the offensive zone. Warner trying to get in down low around behind the net. Warner still in possession. Spins, tries to flick it. To Brace, unable to do so. It's tied up along the boards. Jostled to the line, not out. Patrick Brace gets the shot on. Mudrick able to make the stop and freeze play with 6.23 to go here in a scoreless first period. Very cagey here in the early going. A, a cross sport reference here, but almost kind of has the feel of a Champions League final. Neither team wants to concede the first goal, make the first mistake. Stout and Desmond will take the face off. In the circle, tied up, Lippy gets to it. Skies it to the line, not out. Second opportunity, Stout knocks it off the boards and plays it back for Lippy. Ryan Lippy takes a couple of whacks as he gives it off on the left wing, Landon Stout into the offensive zone, shot, Karangi makes a save, rebound off the boards, swept to the corner. Purse gives it off, Basher, side angle shot, blocked down, rebound comes to Basher, tries to stuff, puck loose in the goal mouth, and Karangi able to get a glove on top of it as Desmond and Purs share a couple of shoves. Offensive zone draw for Holy Ghost Prep to the glove side of Karangi. Stout and Desmond on the face off. Tied up in the circle. Advantage LaSalle. Hannon. Pitch forked up the boards by Lippi. Kept in. Gregorio sweeps it back for Hannon. Around behind the net of Karangi. Hannon, dangerous business. Skates out in front of his own net, gets through center. Gives it off, Galazzo has it poked away. Purs finds Basher at center, five and a half to play here in the first period. Lippi, left wing into the offensive zone, shoots Karangi. Makes the bread basket save and freezes play with 5.25 to go here in period number one. Shots nine to five in favor of Holy Ghost Prep here in period number one. The ice has been tilted for the Firebirds past four or five minutes. Moore and Brace on the draw. Check it, that's Arziki. Coming away with it, Holy Ghost, Mulholland. Pocket picked by Declan Kelly, who plays it up the boards. Carpenter has it swatted away from him by Chambers. Down low, it's Kelly. Pressured by Mulholland, puck deflected. Mulholland keeps it alive. Roll down low for Saravelli. Goal side. Rolls it down low for Moore. Jostled into the boards by Zarzicki. Moore trying to get free. Skates out in front. Back to the point. Slook shoots deflected wide. Rebound. Carpenter plays it up the boards. Chambers lost it in his gear. Gets tied up there at the line by Carvalho as Carpenter is able to jostle it out the center. Mulholland takes the body, Sluk takes the puck, but Zarzicki played it at the line offside. 4.32 to go here in the first period. Still cagey in terms of style of play, but after the whistles, the shoves, and the talking are starting to intensify. Selzer and Wittick on the draw. Selzer gets tossed, and it will be Valeriat losing the draw. Kept in at the line, Gregorio pokes it down low, but it's waffle boarded back to center by Seltzer as he punched at it with the glove. Although not quite the waffle board, only a goalie has one of those, but I know what I meant. Played up the board, Schultz. Holt in his own end. Weaves through center into the offensive zone, right wing onside. Holt 
Skates in down low, spins, plays it into the slot where it's taken away and cleared by Monzo. Barger in a race after it with Kennedy. That race will be muted as it is icing and it will be an offensive zone draw for the Firebirds with 3.55 to go here in a scoreless first period. Stout will take the draw against Brace. LaSalle off the draw, controls, cleared up the boards by Ducid and out to center. Basher able to shield himself and the puck. Skates forward on the right wing. Basher skips it in on goal. Karangi drops the glove on top of it and freezes play with 3.39 to go here in the first. It is a packed house here in Colmar, Pennsylvania tonight. About three, four deep all the way around and up on the second level as well. Purse wins the draw. Stout fires wide. Basher to the rebound. Unable to control it cleanly. Basher trying to keep it in. Gets jostled along the boards there by Cameron Ross. And the puck squirts back to center. Lippy will spin and fire it back in. Around behind the net of Karangi. Deuce it, will touch it up. Puck was played with a high stick. And so it will be a whistle, both teams' opportunity to change and an offensive zone draw for Holy Ghost Prep. More to take the face off against Hannon. Or check it, that's Desmond in the circle against Moore. Tied up in the circle. Moore crunched to the boards by Kelly as Desmond plays it up the boards to Hannon. Knocked out the center. Chance for a two on one, but a hand pass is called. Boy, Chase Hannon needs to be careful. And he's getting a talking to by the referee as well. Can't show up an official like that. And the faceoff will move back to center. Moore and Desmond on the draw. 3.06 to go here in the scoreless first. At the line, swept away. This is Hannon circling in his own end. Hannon. Pass Saravelli, plays it on the left wing. Desmond back to Hannon, fires a heat seeker. Just wide of the far side glove of Ryan Mudrick. Rebound, Moore, backhands it out to center. Saravelli into the offensive zone, into the slot, shot on, sails high, wide, deflected up over the glass, and out of play with 2.37 to go here in the first. It will be an offensive zone draw for Holy Ghost to the blocker side of goaltender Aries Karangi. Selzer and Zarzicki on the draw. Tied up in the circle. Still tied up and finally controlled by LaSalle. Swept out to center, Carvalho. Will skate into the offensive zone on the left wing. Carvalho rolls it in down low. Two at first is Michael Zarzicki. He'll let it roll through for Carvalho. Played back up the boards. Carvalho with a shot off the glove of Mudrick. Deflected up over the glass and out of play. Halting play with 2.17 to play here in the first. 10 to 5 the shots in favor still of Holy Ghost Prep. Zarzicki and Sells are on the draw. Cleared to the boards. James Carpenter has it swept away from him and out to center. Barger trying to poke it away. He and Giordano jostle for the puck. Giordano wins it. Played up the boards. Carvalho into the offensive zone. Right wing shoots it at the post. Rebound into the corner. Sluck. Skates to the boards. Clears it. It hit a LaSalle player. But it will still be icing. And so it will be an offensive zone draw for the Explorers with 1.48 to go here in the first period.
Landon Stout will take the face off against Timothy Wittick. One in the corner, Purse. Played up the boards. Stout into the offensive zone. Sky to the line. Basher keeps it in. Right wing shot deflected down in the pads of Gregorio. And Monzo gets it out the center. Lippy throws it right back in. Gregorio again. Played up the boards. Stout trying to keep it in. Battle for position with Kennedy. Basher comes away with a loose puck momentarily before it's cleared out by Wittick. Controlled by Monzo into the offensive zone. Left wing around Schultz, but play is going to be whistled down. On an offside. So the faceoff will move back to neutral ice with one minute and nine seconds to play here in period number one. Brace to take the faceoff against Sean Moore. Moore wins it, swipes it into the offensive zone. Back is Warner, under some pressure, plays it up the boards and back to center. Lippy's pass is deflected down. Second opportunity, Mulholland plays it across to Cervelli. Last minute of play here in the first. Cervelli shoots, and it rattles around off of Karangi's pads, but controlled and settled by the LaSalle goaltender. Offensive zone draw for the Firebirds. Moore against Brace. Moore down low. Poor Holy Ghost plays it to Stout. Jostle for position along the end, Asher Giordano. Plays it along. It'll roll to Moore for the Firebirds. Saravelli, heck of a check by the official. And possession will go the other way. Just a tough tie up into the offensive zone, trying to split the double team. Warner hits the deck, swept away, and cleared to center by Holt. It'll roll all the way down. It'll be icing with 18 and a half to play here, period number one. Ryan Desmond will take the offensive zone draw for LaSalle against Landon Stout for Holy Ghost Prep. Inside the final 20 of the period. Off the faceoff. Swept into the right corner. Sluck trying to knock the puck free away from Desmond. Final 10 of the period. Still jostling for it down low. Galato plays it all the way through the slot. It rolls back into his own defensive end. And that will be the end of period number one. Shots 11 to seven in favor of Holy Ghost Prep, but no score either way through 17 minutes. We've played one here in the Flyers Cup AAA final. Holy Ghost and LaSalle College High School tied at nothing, nothing. Ghost Prep. It's more than a school. It's a brotherhood where students can thrive on campus, where lifelong friends are made, where students can get involved and expand the horizons of their knowledge. A place where community is built on the field and in the classroom with teachers, friends, and coaches. The brotherhood at Holy Ghost is what makes this place so special. It's what makes Holy Ghost Prep home. To learn more, go to www.thinkghost.org. Hi, I'm Tommy Green, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. When I was in high school, it was very important to me to show scouts what I could do. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network. If you're a small to medium-sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 
or 866-PAY-EASY. Haddon Planning Group is an independent financial advisory firm serving all Flyers fans across the country. Located in Pennsylvania since 1981, we will offer a free financial plan to all parents of student-athletes participating in the Flyers Cup. For more information about our services, go to HaddonPlanning.com or call Jake Reardon at 856-428-5300. Haddon. Puck drop underway here in the second period. Nothing, nothing our score between LaSalle and Holy Ghost Prep in the Flyers Cup AAA final. Great to have you along with us, Mike Samson on the call, our great SFBN crew. As the Firebirds have it poked away in their own end. Down low, here's a shot from Galato that sails high and wide. Rebound, puck rolled free, down low, Desmond touches. Play whistle down, arm is up, penalty. Chase Hannon is going to go off. Roughing is the call against Hannon. And Holy Ghost will get the first power play of the night. Just 24 seconds in to period number two. Aries Karangis sharing a word with one of the linesmen as we are set to drop the puck. Faceoff will be to the blocker side. As the referee talking to Walter Muehlbronner, the head coach of the Explorers. Stout set to take the offensive zone draw. First power play of the night. One back to the point. Basher shoots high and wide. It's actually the second power play of the night for Holy Ghost Prep. My apologies. Moore down low. Swipe toward the boards. Comes away with it again. Played up the near side, Dasher. Stout, down low, Moore. Will roll it behind the net for Mulholland. Kieran Mulholland plays to Stout. Trying to roll it free, but it's cleared all the way down. Some teams fall back into a bubble on the penalty kill. LaSalle gets more physically aggressive. Basher into the offensive zone, rolled down low for Moore. Crunched into the boards by Gregorio, who comes away with the puck. 45 gone on the man advantage. Mulholland trying to dig it free, does, but it rolls to Ducet, who plays it up the boards, not out. Held in by Saravelli. Down low, Moore in front through the goal mouth, blocked down by Gregorio. Stout trying to get to it. Goal side right, Saravelli didn't get all of it on the shot. Rebound cleared out. Chasing after it is Kennedy. He'll pitch fork it into the offensive zone but able to settle it is Basher. 45 remains on the power play. Basher weaves through center, offensive zone right side, shoots, blocked down into the corner. Mulholland after it. Basher trying to dig it free, but it's cleared all the way down by Kennedy. Gregorio clears it. Saravelli in his own end, down the 20. Stout into the offensive zone, onside, cleared right back out. And now here's Carpenter on a breakaway. And Mudrick able to make a great stop. Saravelli gets the rebound. Valeriat into the offensive zone, left wing, five-a-side hockey. Valeriat is denied by Aries Karangi. Freezing play, 14-33 to play here in the second. First huge opportunity of the night for LaSalle and Colin Mudrick stood tall. It will be an offensive zone draw. For Holy Ghost. Desmond and Sells are on the draw. Swept clear at the point. 
Hannon comes away with it for LaSalle. He'll weave through center. Into the offensive zone, left wing, drops it off. Galato, roll down low, Hannon trying to muscle himself free. Side of the net, in front, block down. Lippy took that one up high. Hope he is okay. He did block the shot, but that one got him high. They'll come out and take a look at the defenseman, Ryan Lippy, who dove in to block that shot. I'm pretty sure it got him in the neck. In some areas, there's not a lot of padding. That area, there's none. 14-14 to play here in the second, scoreless here in the Flyers Cup AAA final on the Flyers Cup YouTube channel powered by SFBN. Planning Group is an independent financial advisory firm serving all Flyers fans across the country. Located in Pennsylvania since 1981, we will offer a free financial plan to all parents of student athletes participating in the Flyers Cup. For more information about Lippy up and off under his own power. Good to see. Nothing, nothing. Our score 14 14 to play here, second period between LaSalle College High School and Holy Ghost Prep in the Flyers Cup AAA Final. Desmond and Stout on the draw. Sky to the line, not out. Kept in, Gregorio shoots, blocked down in the slot. Desmond gets the rebound, back to the point. Gregorio shot, blocked down again. Able to find it this time as Hannon shoots. What a glove save made by Colin Mudrick. Flashing the leather on a heat seeker off the stick of Hannon. It will be an offensive zone draw. Blocker side of the Holy Ghost Prep goaltender. Desmond and Stout. Advantage, Stout. Sluck plays it up the boards. Basher unable to clear Desmond. The takeaway, the shot fought off by Mudrick. Rebound, Purse. Unable to clear again. This is a lot of pressure for LaSalle. Hannon chipped back to the point. Gregorio unable to keep it in. Chance for numbers. Basher the other way. Shoots. Glove save. Made by Karanji, and the goalies are showing out here in period number two. It will be an offensive zone draw for the Firebirds. Both teams will change. Moore will take the face off against Patrick Brace to the blocker side of Aries Karangi. Off the draw, it's Cerevelli, score! <laughs> the hero in the semifinals! Strikes first here in the final. one nothing Holy Ghost Prep. Came right to Saravelli off the draw. Karangi got a piece of it, but not all of it. And the Firebirds strike first. Off the draw, it's controlled by Cameron Ross for LaSalle. Holt delivers a massive hit. That's going to be a penalty. Holt went high, and he's going to be called for roughing. That is a disaster penalty to take mere seconds after scoring the first goal of the night. The Explorers are going to get their first power play of the night here in period number two as Holt is off two minutes for roughing.
Ryan Desmond will take the face off against Brady Pacer. Desmond wins it back to the point. Gregorio holds it in. Left point, Hannon. Back to Gregorio. Shoots through traffic just wide. Lippy back out there. Good to see that. Cleared up the boards, held in. It's Hannon. Top of the left circle. Down low, Desmond. Back to Hannon. Mid circle left. Gregorio. Cross ice pass. Finds Ducet. Back to Gregorio at the point. Hannon. Pressured by Saravelli. Hannon able to get away from it at the point. Shoots deflected and just wide again. Saravelli plays it up the boards. Not out. Gregorio holds it in. Over to Ducet with time and space. Roll down low. Galato. Back to the point. Gregorio shoots just wide. 113 remains on the power play as this one skipped into the bench and out of play as it hit an explorer on the bench. 12.37 to go here in period number two. 110 remaining on the man advantage. Why are they putting this face off in the offensive zone? It hit a LaSalle player. That's surprising. Purse will take the face off against Desmond. Off the draw, one back to the point. Over to Gregorio, fires, save, big rebound. Purse to it first, tries to clear, can't do it. Galato shoots, blocked off in the slot. Great play by Slook. Back to the point. It's Hannon, shoots, blocked. 52 remains on the man advantage. Galato rolls down low to Desmond, trying to chip it back to the point. Mulholland there, it's back to Gregorio. Right point, deuce it, space, shot deflected off the glass. Hannon gets to the rebound. Down low, Desmond, 35 on the man advantage. Hannon, top of the left circle, trying to work into the slot, poked away by Slook to the line. Gregorio holds it in. Momentarily, anyway, Mulholland able to clear. 20 seconds remains on the man advantage. Hannon into the offensive zone for the Explorer. Shoots! Glove save made by Mudrick. Rebound around behind the net. Hannon delivers a huge hit as the puck rolls free. Zarzicki in front. Hannon off the post. Mudrick got a piece of it. The dinner bell rang a bit as well. And just enough to keep it out of the net. Six seconds remaining on the man advantage for LaSalle. They'll have one more offensive zone draw. Zarzicki will take the face off against Brady Basher. Off the draw, one by LaSalle, Giordano at the point. Shoots, Mudrick again with the pads, able to make the stop. One second remains on the power play. Selzer and Zarzicki, one by Selzer, cleared, out of the box is Holt, trying to settle the bouncing puck, sweeps it toward Karenji, who makes a brilliant stop. Rebound cleared down, no icing, Saravelli. Off the boards, not out. Held in, Zarzicki. Crunched along the boards, Carpenter. Trying to spin free of Holt behind the net. Carpenter, top of the left circle, shoots. Mudrick didn't see it, but he felt it and was able to make the stop with Zarzicki on the doorstep. 10.59 to play. Here in period number two, the intensity has ratcheted up since that first goal. Timothy Wittick to take the face off against Landon Stout. One back by Stout into the corner, jostled free by Wittick. Rolls it past Monzo. Down low again. Wittick has it poked away. Brady Basher the other way, one on two into the offensive zone. Right wing shot on Karenji makes the save. 
Rebound, Monzo to the line, not out. Morgan through traffic. Karenji makes a save. Oh, it's a huge rebound free in the slot and poked away toward the boards by Gregorio. Wittick into the offensive zone, right wing. Wittick trying to work his way around the defender. Schultz through the goal mouth, taken away by Basher. One on three this time, unable to race past Gregorio, and the puck is cleared at the line. Morgan into the offensive zone, fires a shot in, gloved down by Karenji, and he'll hold it with Morgan crashing in, and Morgan in hostile territory with three explorers. Somehow still the aggressor skates away from it as the collisions intensify in the corner. Sean Moore. Looks like he's going to go at least. Gregorio. Two minutes on Sportsmanlike, Gregorio and Moore. It will be an offensive zone draw for Holy Ghost with 10-10 to play here in the second now. They are going to move the faceoff back to center, it looks like. Patrick Sluck wondering why, and the PA announcer wondering why can't everyone just get along. Landon Stout to take the faceoff against Patrick Brace. Advantage LaSalle. Although I say the PA announcer, I assume he's the DJ as well. At center, Declan Kelly for LaSalle. Rolls it around behind the net of Mudrick. Slook to it first, up the boards. Brace able to hold it in as he gets crunched along the near side dasher. Mulholland. Plays it on the right wing. Saravelli, offensive zone, already got one tonight. Swept away that time by Cameron Ross and played back to center. Mulholland trying to jostle the puck free. Basher does, but he's offside as Mulholland was a half step ahead of him into the offensive zone, halting play with 9.32 to play here in the second period. Just outside the offensive zone, the faceoff. It will be Desmond and Selzer. Loose puck at center, scooped up by LaSalle. Skipped in on Mudrick, who makes the save, and he'll freeze it as well. With 9.21 to play here in the second period. Holy Ghost with a 1-0 lead on the goal by Johnny Saravelli. Ryan Desmond to take the offensive zone draw against Selzer for Holy Ghost. It's one, Giordano shoots a heat seeker just high. Rebound, Ryan Warner. Rolls it down low. Desmond gets crunched along the near side boards. Jostled free, hand and shot blocked down, played it with a mile high stick. So just has to let it roll. Nobody wanted to touch it. Now play is going to be whistled down as Selzer took a hit as well. And the faceoff will move back to center. Oh, now they're going to take this one all the way down, actually. Selzer appears to be hurt after that hit as well. Going to the Holy Ghost bench. As Stout will take the face off against Ryan Desmond. Offensive zone draw for Holy Ghost. Face off, tied up along the end, Dasher. And Scott out. Holtz in his own end. 8.45 to go before the ice cut. Over to Lippi. Fires it to the left of Karangi. Two at first is Ryan Warner. He'll play it up the boards. 
Holt trying to jostle the puck free. Stout has it down low. Gets ridden to the boards by Warner, who comes away with the puck for the Explorers. And he'll chip this one off the glass and out to center. Oh, Lippy mishandles, able to regather, give to Purs, and now Stout was tied up in his skates. Galato unable to find it as well. Puck seems to have gone invisible. Galato finds it into the offensive zone, gets swept away. Holt able to come away, chance for a three on two here for the Firebirds. Holt in left wing, swept into the slot and cleared away by Warner before any danger is felt. Ripped off the boards and out to center by Giordano. Holt throws it right back in. Giordano for the Explorers finds Arzicki. Fresh legs, gives it right side. Carpenter dribbles a shot in on Mudrick, who makes the save. Rebound around behind, controlled by Cerevelli. Johnny Cerevelli racing forward. He's already got one tonight. Into the offensive zone, right wing, swept to the boards. Taken away by Ducet and cleared to the line and out to center. Able to knock it free. Carpenter into the offensive zone. Carpenter dangle down low. Save made Mudrick. Rebound Sluck. Able to get it out to center. Gives left wing Mulholland. Into the offensive zone. Right wing batted away by Ducet to the boards. Mulholland will keep the pressure on somewhat as he puts it around behind the net of Karangi where it's controlled by Declan Kelly. 7-10 to play here in the second. Basher takes it away. Two on one. Basher down low. In from Mulholland. Denied by Karangi. Puck cleared to center. Into the offensive zone, it's Carvalho. Right wing, trying to get free of Kieran Chambers. Crunch to the boards. Oh, that one dangerous. Bounce off the boards through the goal mouth. But nobody around for LaSalle, and it's cleared back to center. Wittick to deuce it, cross ice pass. Swatted at by Kennedy at the neutral zone line. And into the offensive zone, skates Monzo. Down low, Wittick. Around behind the net, trying to dump it off in front. Blocked by Chambers first time and second time. Monzo right corner off the outside of the net. Puck jostled into the corner. Monzo has it a third time. Trying to roll it down low. Kennedy swept it away along the boards. Chambers able to come away with it. Outlet feed just over the stick of Basher. He touched it, so no icing. Basher to it first. Wittick able to get it and bang it out to center. Chambers skies it back in. Stout off the turnover. Able to control for Holy Ghost. Jostled into the corner by Galato. Into the slot. Skipping shot just wide off the stick of Logan Barnes. Rebound back to the point. Sluck able to hold it in and roll down low. Stout gets ridden into the boards by Warner. Puck rolls free out into the slot. Karangi just falls on top of it to freeze play with 5.39 to play here in period number two. Brilliant hockey game thus far. High quality of play. Selzer is going to go off, by the way. We talked about him getting crunched and injured earlier. He's going to go to the locker room with the Holy Ghost prep trainer. So one centerman down. And Barra out to take the draw against Desmond. Barra wins it, gets tied up off the draw, has it around behind the net. Trying to play it in front, gets crunched to the boards. Puck to the line, not quite out, now it is. Cameron Ross racing into the offensive zone on the left wing, Ross back to the point. Galato didn't get all the slap shot and Barnes able to swat it out to center. Spadacino is after it along with Kelly. Kelly pressured but wins the race. Gives it off to Hannon. Through center into the offensive zone. Shot on, score! Chase Hannon ties it at one. And one that you can't help but wonder if Mudrick would like to have back. I don't think it changed direction on the way in. It just handcuffed Mudrick, who was beat blocker's side. And it is a new game with 5-11 to play here in the second. We're tied at one. Chambers off the draw. Gives it off for Sluck. Who will throw it around behind the net. Moore down low. 
Saravelli pokes it right point. Moore shoots. Glove save made by Karangi. Rebound off the boards. Mulholland fires it high and wide. Moore to it again. Knocked off the puck by Ryan Warner as it's thrown around for Giordano. Rolled out to center. Carvalho into the offensive zone on the right wing. Carvalho skates in down low, trying to work toward the slot around behind the net. Puck taken away by Chambers. Plays it into the slot. Saravelli settles the bouncing puck. Gives it off to Chambers. Offensive zone, right wing. Gives it off. Shot just wide off the stick of Sean Moore. Rebound all the way the other way. It's a three on one. Carpenter in. Across. Carvalho blocked. Carpenter in front. Unable to get the shot off cleanly is Zarzicki. Cervelli racing after it, trying to get in one on one. But Ryan Warner will win the race to the puck. What wonderful chaos. Into the offensive zone offside is Ryan Warner. Shots tied at 18, game tied at one. 3.54 to play here in period number two. A game more than befitting of a Flyers Cup AAA final. Stout to take the face off against Desmond. Controlled by Holy Ghost. Lippy plays it forward for Purs. Into the offensive zone, left wing. Zach Purs throws it through the goal mouth. Rolls all the way back out to center, actually. Holt. Trying to skip it back in. Basher has it swiped. Hannon looking for more. Trying to play it down low. Split a double team. Holt and Lippy have none of that. Basher into the open ice. Purs, offensive zone, right wing. Purs trying to settle the bouncing puck. Spins in the slot, but has it taken away by Evan Galato and cleared to center. Hannon after it. Crunched to the boards by Lippy. They scrum for it as Purs picks up the loose puck. And Basher out to center. One on four, says, I don't like my odds here. I'm going to shoot from center. And his play is whistled down. LaSalle's going to get a penalty. Unsportsmanlike conduct is going to be called on Chase Hannon. Now this is worth noting. Believe that's Hannon's third penalty of the night. If you get four, you're suspended the next game. So Hannon needs to keep his head here. Because if LaSalle wins this game, if he picks up another penalty, he's not going to be eligible to play in the state championship game. It'll be an offensive zone draw for Holy Ghost Prep, the third power play of the night. They're one for two. Stout to take the draw against Carpenter. Tied up in the circle, Moore. Jostled to the boards, rolls down free, Mulholland. Giordano clears it all the way down. And I believe two of the three penalties on Hannum were in sportsmanlike conduct as well. Carpenter able to win the race to this puck. He gets tied up, plays whistled down as the net came off. With 2.48 to play here in period number two. Coming up in the intermission, we'll chat with Flyers Cup President Eric Ty. Always oh, fun to chat to Eric and kind of take a look back at what a great tournament this has been. And boy, we've had some great finals as well. Single A and Jersey Delaware last night. Tonight, double A and triple A. Girls final still coming as well. As Moore plays it back to Saravelli in his own end. 2.39 to go here in the second game, tied at one. Saravelli, the goal scorer for Holy Ghost Prep, plays it across to Stout. Out through center, Basher into the offensive zone, shoots! Blocker pad save made by Karangi. Rebound cleared all the way to the line and jostled out to center as Stout and Carpenter fight with one another. Basher comes to take the puck, Basher shoots! Save made by Karangi and he'll freeze play with 111 remaining in the man advantage in 214 to play here in period number two. Face-off will be to the glove side of goaltender Aries Karangi. Wittick to take the draw against Zach Purs. Tied up in the circle. 
They still scrum for it, swept to the boards and all the way down. Mudrick out to leave it off for Kieran Chambers. Give to Michael Holt. Played left wing, Valeriat. Flicks it to the right of the cage of Karangi. Purrs after it, but it's cleared all the way down. Kennedy's going to race to this one. He's going to get to it. Kennedy tries to play it back in the slot. Blocked down. Michael Holt takes it away for the Firebirds. Racing forward on the right wing into the offensive zone onside. Holt, top of the right circle, sweeps into the slot. Taken away. Can't clear. Chambers blocked by Kennedy. Brilliant work. 25 remains on the man advantage. Deuce it down low. Sweeps it. Left side. Kennedy back to Deuce it through center on the left wing. Kennedy would have been offside, had to skate back and just plays it in the zone. Chambers will give it off to Holt, tries to split the double team, can't do it, but Chambers there to pick it up. Into the offensive zone, right wing, seven remains on the man advantage. Chambers skates in, down low, behind the net. Chambers all the way through, back to the point, dump down low, five-a-side hockey once again, Mulholland in front. It's cleared away. Moore trying to bat it at Mulholland, trying to sweep it free. Last minute of play in the second. This one is cleared all the way down. It will be icing with 52.7 to go here in period number two. Game tied at 1-1. Triple-A Flyers Cup on the line between two of the biggest rivals in the state. Moore and Desmond on the faceoff. Moore off the tie up, sweeps it to the boards. He's got it down low. Sean Moore turns. Near side Dasher tries to roll it down low, gets taken away and cleared to center. Hannon able to settle the bouncing puck into the offensive zone, shoots glove save made by Mudrick. Rebound into the right corner. Lippy tries to clear it out as he takes the hit. It's batted momentarily by Desmond, but then back out to center. 25 to play here in the second. Bad turnover onside. It's more offensive zone. Right wing serve. Elliott Cross couldn't find Mulholland. Final 15 of the period. Galato tries to play left wing. Batted away by Moore. Tied up in the skates. Cleared to center with five. Desmond crunched by Lippy. Mulholland has it. We will go to the second intermission, tied at one in an absolutely brilliant hockey game through 34 minutes. Our score, Holy Ghost Prep one, LaSalle one, Chase Hannon, the goal scorer for LaSalle, Johnny Cerevelli, the goal scorer for Holy Ghost Prep. Intermission time here in Colmar. Flyers Cup AAA final tied at one here on the Flyers Cup YouTube channel powered by SFBN. Holy Ghost Prep, it's more than a school. It's a brotherhood where students can thrive on campus, where lifelong friends are made, where students can get involved and expand the horizons of their knowledge. A place where community is built on the field and in the classroom with teachers, friends, and coaches. The Brotherhood at Holy Ghost is what makes this place so special. It's what makes Holy Ghost Prep home. To learn more, go to www.thinkghost.org. Holy Ghost Prep. It's more than a school. It's a brotherhood where students can thrive on campus, where lifelong friends are made. Where students... I feel like LaSalle is one of those high schools where every single sport team is a really good sports team. Joining a team or a club, it really gives you that sense of brotherhood that I think most kids look for at LaSalle. Yeah, I'd say the coaches are, uh, are supportive because they're constantly encouraging you and they want what's best for you as well. We have everything on campus that we could ever imagine. and we all look out for one another. We wanna help each other succeed. Make sure that we all can reach our maximum potential. When you spend so much time together with your brothers, you really develop a bond that's just unbreakable.
1-1 at the intermission as we welcome you back here on the Flyers Cup YouTube channel. Great to have you along with us. My name is Mike Samsel, standing by with Flyers Cup president Eric Tai. Eric, thanks so much for joining the program. Great to have you along with us as always. How about this atmosphere, Michael? What a great night for hockey <laughs> here in Colmar, Pennsylvania at Hatfield Ice. A capacity crowd for both games. I think you needed some butter and a shoehorn to get them in for this one. This has been a we, great uh, night of hockey. We uh, we pushed the limits tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> um, I guess a little crazy trying to do two of them back to back, but it's working out. It's working out perfectly. Yeah, it absolutely has. Great atmosphere, passionate game. And before the start of this game, we had a ceremonial puck drop. We had one last night as well before the single A final with something I know that's very near and dear to you and near and dear to the Flyers Cup with Philadelphia Blind Hockey. Right. We um, we partnered up with Philadelphia Blind Hockey uh, the start of the calendar year in January, and uh, we sent uh, four different high school teams down there to practice with them on a Sunday morning, and we're just trying to um, – we're trying to help promote them. So we thought, eh, in front of all these people, last night, tonight, let's bring the, uh, the, blind, the blind players, the blind team players out and do a little ceremonial puck drop, and it's, it was awesome. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, really was. Special moment here both nights. Let's talk about tonight first. A great game between Pensbury and Penridge. The Falcons winning the Flyers' Cup, knocking off the defending Flyers' Cup and state champions in Penridge. New blood, fresh blood. Yeah. Um, first off, hats off to Penridge. Um, the beginning of the year, no one really gave them a chance or thought because of the amount of people they graduated last year. But lo and behold, we're back here in the finals, and there they were. And the way they handled themselves at the end of the game, they, they did it with class. I, I told that to their head coach afterwards. I said, look, you, you guys lost, but your kids did it with class. And Pensbury. They, they earned it, man. Yeah. We watched what they did against Rock South when they came back. They had the overtime game against Conestoga. Um, you know, they won tonight. Now they'll head out to Pittsburgh and let's see if the, you know, the goal is to bring three back from Pittsburgh on Saturday. We were talking last night, Jordan Coons and I, who had the call about, you know, Trey Jeffress for Westchester East is really a, a special player, a Division One commitment. But, you know, Brandon McCain oh. made himself quite a resume in this tournament as well. Uh, absolutely. Um, he was the MVP of the tournament for a reason. Um, but, and, it, and it just wasn't him. The, um, Marlin, the defenseman. Yeah, Justin great, Marlin, great. great Andrew great Falkenstein. And, uh, and their goalie. You know, we, we said all along, you need a goalie to get hot for two weeks to win this thing. And the Pensbury goalie has been hot for two weeks. And now they're the Flyers Cup champs for the first time in – 21 years or 22 years or something like that, I think. Yeah, really great accomplishment for the Pensbury Falcons last night in single A, Westchester East, ho-hum, another banner and trophy. Never count them out, right? Everyone thought, oh, Westchester East lost two two or three games in October, November, and that was the demise of Westchester East. Yeah. Yep, they're heading to Pittsburgh to play for the third state, champion, state championship on Saturday. Um. And like you said, the, the Jeffers, but the um, who was the MVP down there last night? Cotterelli. Cotterelli, yeah. Cotterelli Joey had, Cotterelli. He had, a, he had a great tournament. Boy, did he have a great tournament. Yeah. So an absolutely great night there, and in the Jersey Delaware game, a heated rivalry and rematch of last year's final. This year, the Sallies of Silesianum clinch and finally get to hoist their Flyers Cup. It was heated, wasn't it? <laughs> It's an adjective. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely heated. Um, yeah, uh, Silesiana won a couple in a row, then didn't win last year. Eastern won, but Eastern was right back there with with a bunch of freshmen. Yeah. Eastern was there with a bunch of freshmen. Um, so uh, I, my guess is we're going to see them again soon. Yeah, the Vikings will certainly have a lot to say about that tournament in the future. And then tomorrow night, we have the girls' final coming up as well yep. in the Flyers' Cup. 
That one, should be another one. great one as well here on the one. Flyers Cup YouTube channel. One and two. Avon Grove's the one. Downingtown West is the two. So, um, I don't know. I said on the selection show, you sat right next to me, and I said the most important or the most valuable person to any team was in the girls' bracket. Yeah. Um, Miss Ava Thomas had 10 points in the semifinal game. Not so bad. No. She's, if anyone gets a chance to go out to Ice Line tomorrow night to watch a girls' final, um, you're going to see some very, very good, a very good hockey game. Yeah, that should be a great one. We'll have it here on the Flyers Cup YouTube channel as well. The great Daryl Dobis will have the call of that one from Ice Line in Westchester. And still a story to be written in this game. But you and I were talking at the break. The Hatfields and McCoys of AAA, Holy Ghost and LaSalle, have been going at it for 34 minutes this of is a primo war. hockey. This is a war. It, sometimes you think it's a track meet, right? And then other times you think a UFC fight's going to break out. <laughs> but, uh, my God. And, and the scoreboard can, can't get any more even. One to one, right? Yeah. Shots are 21 19. Um, each team took uh, one or two dumb penalties. Uh, but this, this, do I jinx it, Mike? Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> do, do <laughs> Actually, you know it? what? I take that back. I would gladly watch more of this game. <laughs> yeah, that, okay. Um, I thought the last one, I thought the last one was taking it for overtime. Um, and then Pensbury got the empty netter at the end, but that was close to being overtime. We didn't get two close ones last night, but um, what's this guy doing? I think he missed a spot. Uh, yeah, big spot. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. The, the Zamboni's that, that, just that, that, on a bit of a joyride right now. Mike, you know Flyers how, Cup president you, you, stuff. You know how my mind works. I see something <laughs> and I'm on filter. It just comes out. Um, if you've ever seen the movie Up, that's essentially <laughs> Eric. <laughs> yeah, that's what they tell me. Um, <laughs> But seriously, I don't know if I'm going to be able to jump on tomorrow night, tomorrow night or not. But I, I, the Flyers Cup committee needs to thank you and Bob Road Truck and Jordan and um, who's the, the guy who does Daryl Dobis, uh, Joe, Joe Torty, Torty, yeah, all the producers. Um, the coverage has been second to none. Um, the viewers that we're getting, I know we counted up the viewers after the semifinals on Thursday and. It was close to 50,000 views already for, yeah. all the, for all the games in the tournament, and I only imagine it's going to go up after. Um, look, we sold 800 tickets to this place right here to this game tonight. A, there's more than 800 people in here. B, anyone who didn't get in is watching it on a YouTube stream. Yeah. So, um, and, and we've peaked over 800 viewers in this game tonight as well. Um, I have a question for all you guys. It's March, right? Did I miss a Halloween memo? <laughs> Down you, on the far side. You, did I miss a Halloween memo? Like, that? that's awesome. The whole student body is dressed up in Halloween costumes down there. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll get a view of that. I think that is the LaSalle student section. Yeah. I see a slice of pepperoni pizza down there. Got yeah, some with other the great Halloween There's a construction costumes. worker. Construction worker in is there. That, is that a Captain Morgan guy? Back to the left. Go back to the left. <laughs> I, I think that there, Sam Red, is that the pirate or whatever it is there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, is, that is the explorer himself. There's the there's the guy from Donkey Kong in the green and blue. The Lu guy, Luigi? No, Luigi, yeah. See? The guy from Donkey <laughs> Kong? <laughs> I, I just pulled that one out, didn't I, Mike? <laughs> and I, I I've never <laughs> heard Luigi referred to as the guy from Donkey Kong. That's where he's from, isn't he? Isn't he from Donkey Kong? We'll talk to him in the break. You ever play video games growing up? He's Mario. Yeah. Oh, oh, damn. I mean, these two schools might as well be Mario and Luigi. <laughs> yeah. And I, I know at some points I was standing down there. There's a cow. I see a cow. <laughs> I was looking straight across at one point, and there's a red, there, the guy in the referee's jersey over there is awesome. He has the armbands on, on and everything over there. He was straight <laughs> across somewhere. Oh, yeah, that's right. I see him up there in the stands. Has the arm, orange armbands and everything standing on the stairs. Over on the far Oh, yeah, side. there he is right there. Yep. Ah, fabulous stuff. Um, yeah, there he is. Unmatched passion here at the Flyers' Cup. It's really cool. Yeah, it's, like I said, and, and with this many people in here for as well-behaved as all these kids are, yeah. that's, that's a compliment to both schools. 
Flyers-Cup.org is the website. What can we find there? All the pictures of the winners will be up there soon. All the tournament statistics will be up there. Um, hopefully in the next day or two we'll have all the state. Um, I think while we know Westchester East is playing Kiski area, we know that Pensbury is playing uh, Lafayette, who upset Armstrong tonight. And uh, St. Peter's is, is waiting, or Peter's Township, I'm sorry. Yeah. Peter's Township is waiting for the winner of this game. Defending state champs, Peter's Township. Yeah. And they, they put a thumping on. Uh... All right, Mike, looks like you got to get back to work, and I'm going to get out of here before all the people get there. Thank you, SFBN. Everything you did has been awesome. That is the Flyers Cup president, Eric Ty. Eric, thank you. Thank you for having us. Pleasure to be a part of this, as always. The third period for the Flyers Cup AAA Championship is coming up after this. This is the Flyers Cup YouTube channel powered by SFBN. Do you know what a blue hen is? It's prideful. Spirited. Fiery. A blue hen never backs down from a challenge. And we're there to support them. Delaware Orthopedic Specialist. The official orthopedic partner of University of Delaware Athletics. Madden Planning Group is an independent financial advisory firm serving all Flyers fans across the country. Located in Pennsylvania since 1981, we will offer a free financial plan to all parents of student athletes participating in the Flyers Cup. For more information about our services, go to HaddonPlanning.com or call Jake Reardon at 856-428-5300. Haddon Planning. Your surprisingly great rates? Contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Eldion Pagulary in Feasterville, Trevose today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Holy Ghost Prep. It's more than a school. It's a brotherhood where students can thrive on campus, where lifelong friends are made, where students can get involved and expand the horizons of their knowledge. A place where community is built on the field and in the classroom with teachers, friends, and coaches. The Brotherhood at Holy Ghost is what makes this place so special. It's what makes Holy Ghost Prep home. To learn more, go to www.thinkghost.org. Holy Ghost Prep. Michael and Company, certified public accountants, believe that your bottom line is as important to them as it is to you. Why? Because they care about the things that you care about. Whereas most accountants can take your numbers and put them on financial statements and tax returns, Bluestein and Michael work with you through the year to help you solve problems by providing sound... We start the third period. Game tied at one between LaSalle and Holy Ghost Prep. Flyers Cup AAA Championship on the line. Explore possession. Carvalho throws it around behind the net. Taken by Lippy, cleared to center, two on two. The Firebirds move forward. Stout fires a shot high and wide. Rebound on the fresh ice, skitters all the way out to center. Holt plays it up the boards. Gregorio takes it right back. And thrown into the zone. Carvalho poked away. Shot on from Carpenter. Is swatted off by Mudrick. Rebound Lippy. Able to clear it out to Basher at center. He'll race forward, left wing. Brady Basher shoots. Pad save made. Rebound, Kieran Mulholland. Roll down low. Cervelli chases after it. Deuce it to it first. Leaves it off, but Mulholland comes away with it. Trying to play it out in front, but Deuce it will clear it to center. Galato at center throws it around behind the net of Mudrick. James Sluck. Played up the boards, not out. Held in, Giordano at the point, through traffic, Mudrick fights it off. Rebound into the corner, Warner. Taken by Moore, played up the boards, not out. Second opportunity, this one cleared into the Firebird bench. 
88 seconds into period number three. This is the final Flyers Cup game for Holy Ghost head coach Gump Whiteside, retiring at the end of the season. He's hoping he's got one more in him, though. Sean Moore will take the face off against Ryan Desmond. Blocked down, off the draw, Mulholland after it. Trying to dig it out, can't do it, instead of Tannen. Playing it back to his defenseman, Ryan Warner. Galato deflects it center, no icing. Hannon after it with Chambers. Collision comes as Desmond gets the puck. In front, what a stop! Galato denied. Sluck in the corner with Hannon, trying to dig it free. Mulholland comes away, plays it out to center. Chambers chasing after it, Giordano clears it to the boards. Saravelli spins and clears to Mulholland at center. Played it back into the zone. It's Hannon off the turnover, denied by Modric. Oh, that was nearly a disaster play for Ghost, and it becomes a two-on-one. Saravelli blocked off by Warner before he ever got a threatening shot. Warner racing forward, left wing into the zone. Ryan Warner splits defenders, cleared toward the corner off the outside of the net. Selzer back in the game. Barger pitchforks it out to center. Declan Kelly tries to wind it back in, but he did so offside. 14-16 to play here in the third period. LaSalle off the draw with Ross. Plays it into the zone. Lippy pushed into the boards by Julian Tarsi. As Barra races forward left wing, clears it around behind the net. Barger after it, taken away and cleared the other way. Julian Tarsi in on the left wing for the Explorers. Ridden to the board by Holt. Back to the point. Space, shot, glove save, Mudrick snatches it out of the air off the stick of Cameron Ross. 13.41 to play here in the third, and it might take something special, probably is going to take something special to beat either goalie. Zarzicki and Stout on the draw. Stout wins it for Holy Ghost. Schultz trying to play it around behind the net. Tied up by Carpenter. Scrum for it there. Carpenter comes away with it. Tries to stuff short side. Denied. Jarzicki rebound. Blocked off on the outside of the net. And the net comes off as it was pushed off by LaSalle. So the faceoff's going to move all the way the other way. With 13-22 to play here in the third. So it's gonna be an offensive zone draw for Holy Ghost, or at least out to setter. They won't send it all the way the other way, just out of the zone. Zarzicki and Moore on the draw, advantage Zarzicki. Giordano plays it to Warner. Banged off the boards, Carvalho unable to settle. It's past Schultz and it's an icing called on LaSalle. So this time Holy Ghost will get the offensive zone draw with 13-12 to play here in the third. Game tied at one. Moore and Tarzicki on the draw. Tied up in the circle. Able to dig it free. Carvalho around behind his own net. Giordano plays it up the boards all the way down. That was deflected, no icing. Mudrick out to stop it for Schultz. Brendan Schultz plays it up the boards as he gets crunched by Carvalho. Cleared out to center. Giordano off the feed from Warner. Skipped into the offensive zone around behind the net of Mudrick. Played back up the boards. Warner holds it in at the line temporarily. Barger gets it back and skies it. Giordano. 
Gives to Zarzicki. Blocked down by Saravelli. Turnover. Saravelli denied. What a stop by Karinji. It'll be an offensive zone draw for Holy Ghost. 12.29 to play here in the third. Game tied at one, Triple A Flyers Cup final. Purs and Desmond on the draw. Basher, gloved down by Karangi. Shot was flying high and wide anyway. Karangi makes sure no mistakes were made with it. 12.26 to go here in the third. LaSalle will change lines. Purs will take the face off. Purr will take the face off against Wittick. LaSalle wins it. Cleared out to center. Holt a little too far out in front of Lippy, but in his own end able to settle the bouncing puck. Plays it up the boards and out to center. Brady Basher. Left wing stout shoots. Glove save made Karanji. And he'll pull in the rebound and freeze play. Offensive zone draw for the Firebirds. 12 4 to play here in the third. Stout and Wittick again on the draw. Stout wins it, but it's controlled by LaSalle and cleared to center. Charlie Kennedy will throw it around behind the net. Slook to it first, pressured by Monzo. Along the boards. Slook plays it backside. Chambers pitchforks it to the line and out to center. Stout forward on the left wing. Tries to roll it past Purse. Stout will get to it first. Clear to the line. Slook unable to hold the line. And Chambers will fetch in his own end. 11 and a half to play here in the third. Mulholland unable to settle the bouncing puck. Desmond plays it toward Hannon. Blocked down at the line, Hannon onside into the offensive zone around the check of Chambers. Taken away by Basher. Racing forward on the left wing. Basher into the offensive zone. Shoot! Save made Karanji. Rebound cleared to the boards around behind the net. Lippy pinches in from the point. Rolls it down low. Johnny Saravelli chases. Deuce it there as well. Tied up along the boards. Swept backside. And this is Gregorio in his own end. Across to Deuce it. Back to Gregorio, he'll clear it out to center. One touch pass, Desmond gets it from Hannon. Right wing into the offensive zone, Desmond. In down low, off the outside of the net, Hannon in front. It's blocked down, deflected up over the glass and out of play, 10.38 to play here in the third period. Game remains tied at one. Offensive zone draw to the glove side of goaltender Colin Mudrick. Patrick Brace and Landon Stout. Off the draw, it's Brace. Around behind the net, taken away. Chambers, broken stick in the middle of the ice as Purs gives it off to Basher. Offensive zone, shot blocked down. Basher has it in the corner. Throws it around behind the net. Carvalho for LaSalle. Pressured by Stout, bangs it off the boards. Finds Brace racing forward left wing. Into the offensive zone, Brace ridden to the boards by Brendan Schultz. Brace still in possession of it. Leaves it off for Kennedy in front. Carvalho shot blocked down. Chambers tries to clear, can't do it. Brace has it, decked by Chambers, left corner. Purs comes away with it, gives to Basher. Under 10 to go, third period. Basher in the offensive zone, swept to the boards by Ducet. Basher gets his own rebound through the goal mouth, hits Selzer, and deflects harmlessly into the corner. Cleared all the way down. That'll be a nice by Gregorio, and that will give the referees a chance to get the broken lumber off the ice as well. Although I guess that's just a turn of phrase at this point. Sticks haven't been lumber since John LeClaire played. But to clear the composite off the ice just doesn't sound as good. 
It'll be an offensive zone draw for Holy Ghost, but one by LaSalle. In his own end, Ryan Warner. Plays it up the boards and out to center. Seltzer trying to settle the bouncing puck. He'll leave it off for Lippi, who bangs it off the boards and back to center. Warner with 9.25 to go here in the third. Puck played off the boards, offside. Face off will move back to center. With 9.22 to go. Ryan Desmond, Ronnie Selzer on the draw. Desmond wins it. Giordano unpressured in his own end. Plays it over to Warner. Over the stick of Hannon, into the zone, Lippy, able to retreat in his own end, off the boards. Knocked down, Hannon trying to get it in front. Galato unable to settle the bouncing puck through some pressure, cleared down. It'll be in on Karangi, who will freeze play. As Valerio put the pressure to make Karangi freeze. Moore and Desmond on the faceoff. 8.58 to go in a game tied at one. Flyers Cup AAA final. Hannon gets decked as he clears. Two on one develops. Desmond in. Shoot. Save Mudrick. Rebound cleared away by Holt. Moore the other way for the Firebirds. We'll dump it around behind the net of Karangi. Colin Mudrick has made a number of huge stops for the Firebirds tonight. Hannon through center on the right wing into the offensive zone. Hannon around behind the net of Mudrick, tries to play it short side. Near side of the net, in front, shot on. And Galato denied by Hannon. Rebound the other way. It's Basher. What a drag into the offensive zone. Cervelli hold, shoot, save Karangi. Rebound loose in the slot, cleared all the way down by Desmond. It will go wide of the net of Mudrick. It will be icing, 8.02 to play. What a game. And there's still eight minutes left, at least. Stout and Wittick on the draw. Off the face off, it is controlled by Stout. Trying to roll it toward Purs, taken away by Gregorio for LaSalle and cleared to center. Kennedy has it swiped away. Stout clears it back to center. Basher for Holy Ghost. In on the left wing. Weaves around one man. Top of the left circle. Looking for Schultz at the point. Has it swept away. Chance for numbers for the other way for LaSalle. Blocked off by Sluck. Into the slot. All alone. Wittick. Backhand blocked down. Never even made it in on net. Stout will take it the other way. He's one on two as the Firebirds change. Ridden to the boards by Gregorio. Wittick to the bouncing puck. Deflected off the top of the glass, still in play. Barger pressures the defender. Gregorio gets it in the slot. It rolls all the way through to Sluck. Roll down low. Gregorio for LaSalle, unpressured. Skies it to center. Under seven to go as Sluck throws it back around behind the net of Karangi. Gregorio again winds it up the boards. That one will not have icing steam. Barger lets it roll past him, play whistle down. Too many men. It's going to be a power play for Holy Ghost. Too many men on the ice for LaSalle. Gives the Firebirds a power play with 6.45 to go. Oh boy. Offensive zone draw, power play for Holy Ghost. Their fourth of the game. Stout and Carpenter on the faceoff. 
Off the draw, one back to the point, Saravelli. Left wing, Mulholland, unable to settle the bouncing puck and it's cleared by Warner. 10 seconds gone on the man advantage. Saravelli plays it over to Stout. Crunched into the boards by Carvalho. Tied up along the left side, Dasher. Mulholland able to get it out to center. Three on two developing, Basher. In on the right wing, onside, has it poked away. Gets tied up, top of the circle, cleared out to center. 30 seconds gone, Stout into the offensive zone. Leaves it off, Mulholland, left point, holds. Cross ice, Basher alone, shoots, save made by Karanji. Rebound, Mulholland, cross ice pass, finds Basher, right point, Basher shoots, deflected, and fought off by Karanji again. Rebound to the boards, it's shot on, Stout fought off. Rebound, in the corner again. Giordano tied up by Moore, 60 seconds gone on the too many men minor. Tied up along the board, shuffle boarded free, back to Saravelli at the point, shot deflected, save made by Karangi off the stick of Mulholland. It will freeze play with 5.37 to go here in the third and 52 seconds remaining in the man advantage for the Firebirds. Moore and Desmond to take the draw. Desmond wins it, deuce it. Off the boards in his own end, Saravelli unable to hold it in. Basher gets it back, plays it onside, but has it swept away. Stout with 40 seconds remaining on the power play. Gives it right wing, Basher. Weaving into the offensive zone. Basher plays it into the right corner. He and Gregorio chase, Gregorio wins it. Moore in to try and help dig it out. Moore knocks it free. Bottom of the right circle, back to the point, Stout. Keeps it in momentarily. Cervelli sweeps it away from Ducet. Around behind the net, Gregorio pitch forked along. Moore has it. Right corner, rolled back to Cervelli. Bottom of the right circle. Mulholland around behind the net. Mulholland trying to work his way in front. Cervelli back to the point. Basher shoots through traffic wide. Back to five aside hockey. Mulholland in front, scrum for it. Net off its moorings again as Karanji makes the stop. Holy Ghost unable to capitalize on the LaSalle error. Shots 30 to 27 in favor of the Firebirds. Both goalies spectacular. Game tied at one. Valeriat to take the draw against Brace. Tied up in the circle. Valeriat chips it down low. Giordano for LaSalle. Plays it in his own end across to Warner, who's been spectacular tonight. Giordano in his own end. Trying to play it through center, taking away Valeriat. Barger is onside. Barger bodied off, throws it in the slot. Warner takes it away. Selzer got tied up with Carpenter as the puck rolls around behind the net. Barger in his own end. Trying to play it back to the point. Blocked down, huge hit. Carvalho takes it away. Right wing Warner racing into the offensive zone around Lippi, crunched into the boards. They get tied up as Valeriat trying to knock it away from Carpenter. Warner has it down low. Lippi leaves it off. Carvalho shoots and fought off by Mudrick. Around behind the net, Carpenter tied up along the boards. It rolls out of the slot painstakingly long. It rolls back to the point. Down low, Ross, shot on, blocked. Rebound cleared back to center. Barger racing in, offensive zone, taken down, puck still free. Basher gets to it. Carpenter clears it to center, 3.20 to go. At this point in the game, it's gonna have to be a felony before it's a penalty. Basher clears it in. Ross plays it up the boards, back to center. Chambers in his own end. Gets it to Basher at center, one touch pass. Stout is onside, give to Purse, shot blocked down. Rebound cleared out to center by Wittick. Chambers, under pressure from Monzo. Clears it up the boards to Basher. 2.55 to go here in regulation. Chambers gets the cross ice pass and flings it wide of the net of Karanji. 
No icing. Ducet plays it up the board. Slook at center. Under pressure. Wrestled down. Taken away. Shot on Galato. Denied by Mudrick. 2.39 to play here in the third. Colin Mudrick makes his 28th save of the night. to play, third period. 1-1 our score here in the Flyers Cup AAA final between LaSalle and Holy Ghost Prep. Desmond and Moore on the draw. Tied up in the circle and cleared out to center. Giordano cross ice pass, finds Warner. Played around behind the net. Mudrick. Crunched by Hannon. Tie up behind the net, Desmond comes away with it. Desmond in front through the goal mouth and all the way through. It's cleared out to center by Mulholland. 2.15 to go here in regulation. Mulholland, cross ice pass taken away. Galato tied up by Cerevelli and thrown into the zone. Giordano forward to Hannon. Desmond poked away, cleared to center. Under two minutes to go. Giordano in, shoots, blocked. Loose in the slot, cleared by Holt. Not enough steam for icing. Warner with 1.45 to go. Anything here would surely be a game winner. Warner skates into the offensive zone. Right wing knocked off the puck by Stout. Holt gets to it in his own end. Backhand of the line, not out. Hannon, save made by Mudrick. Rebound tied up in the corner. Off the slot shot, deflected, save made. Stout goes the other way. Chance for numbers for Prep. Into the offensive zone, Basher off the outside of the net with the shot. Rebound cleared to center, 1.15 to go. Slug deflects it into the offensive zone. Gregorio plays it forward, Brace into the offensive zone, dangles left wing, swept to the boards by Chambers. One minute to go. Brace in the slot, gets taken down, cleared to center. Gregorio throws it right back in on what would be a delayed offside. Stout plays it. 50 seconds to go. Turnover in his own end. In the slot. Shot blocked down. Carvalho denied. Carpenter off the boards. Saved by Mudrick. Gregorio flings it toward the net. Blocked into the corner. 30 seconds to go. Purs racing forward. Leaves it off. Basher into the offensive zone. Basher tried to leave it off for Cerevelli. Taken away by Gregorio and cleared to center. Johnny Cerevelli, who's got the goal tonight. 15 seconds to go. Carvalho is onside. Spins played back to the line, back to center. Thrown in, final 10 seconds. This was always destined for extra hockey. Cerevelli at the buzzer, shoots. Save made by Karinji. 51 minutes, not enough. Sign me up for more of this. We are tied at one. We go to sudden death overtime next here on the Flyers Cup YouTube channel. Surprisingly great rates? Contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Eldion Pagulary in Feasterville, Trevose today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Do you know what a blue hen is? It's prideful. Spirited. Fiery. 
blue hen never backs down from a challenge. And we're there to support them. Delaware Orthopedic Specialist, the official orthopedic partner of University of Delaware Athletics. Do you know what a blue hen is? Hi, I'm Tommy Green, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. When I was in high school, it was very important to me to show scouts what I could do. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network. If you're a small to medium sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAYEASY. Electric, absolutely electric inside Hatfield Ice Arena. Triple A Flyers Cup Final, overtime. Next goal wins a trophy. Kennedy blocked off, deflected up over the glass, out of play. Offensive zone draw for LaSalle. We play till there's a winner. Sudden death, golden goal in effect. Whitakins down on the draw. Controlled by Sluck. Cleared up the boards. Purs gets it to center. Finds Basher. Right wing into the offensive zone. Basher shoots. Save made Karanji. Rebound in the slot. Basher again fires it wide. Cleared to center by Kennedy. Basher back into the offensive zone, right wing. Basher weaves in down low, into the slot, block down. Basher gets it back, left corner. Basher rolled to the other side, taken away by Gregorio, cleared all the way in on Mudrick, who has to drop the glove with Charlie Kennedy bearing down. 16-13 to play here in overtime number one. Imagine the nerves, the adrenaline, pulsing through the bodies on the ice right now. Desmond and Moore on the draw. Moore wins it, banked off the boards. Mulholland plays it forward. Saravelli was the hero the other night. This one blocked him. Second overtime game in the tournament for the Firebirds. They defeated St. Joe's Prep in the semi. Hannon poked away by Lippi. Moore tied up by Desmond. Mulholland comes away with it. Plays it off. Saravelli down low shot on save made. Karanji. He'll freeze play with 15.46 to play here in overtime. That was close if you're an Explorer fan. Moore to take the draw against Desmond. Mulholland controls for Holy Ghost. Roll down low, Desmond and Moore tie up again. Mulholland has it. Mulholland left corner, taken away by Desmond. Hannon will skate out the center for LaSalle. Blocked down by Saravelli. Mulholland plays it, but it's taken by Warner. Into the offensive zone with a shot wide off the boards. Rebound controlled by Holt. Around behind his own net. Holt swats it up the boards. Mulholland turns it over in his own end but gets it back. Plays it right wing. Saravelli into the offensive zone, right wing. Saravelli shoots, blocked in the slot, still loose, taken away. Galato will try and go the other way. Two on two, Galato weaves in, down low, Galato! Denied by Mudrick as the net came off. Offensive zone draw explores. Carpenter will take it against Stout. Brace down low off the loose puck. Carpenter swept to the boards. Carvalho through the goal mouth. Basher the other way. Cleared to center from the wrong side of the red line. It's all the way down. It's an offensive zone draw for LaSalle who are buzzing around the crease of Mudrick.
Grace and Stout on the faceoff. Glove side of Mudrick. LaSalle wins it. Carpenter rolls down low. Chambers takes it away, plays it up the boards. Basher lets it roll to Stout, right wing. Into the offensive zone, offside. It was tied up at the line. Purs had beat both Firebirds into the end. Play whistle down, 14-34 to play here in overtime number one. Neutral zone faceoff just outside of the offensive zone for the Firebirds. Whittick and Stout on the draw. Controlled by LaSalle. Off the stick of Kennedy. No, it was not. It's icing. They say Kennedy never touched it. And so we'll walk all the way the other way for an offensive zone draw for the Firebirds. Shots 33 to 32 in favor of Holy Ghost here in overtime. The margin in this game could not be any more razor thin. It's a shame someone's got to lose, but isn't that why we love sport? Chambers finds Basher, open ice, right wing, Basher glove save made by Karanji. Freezes play with 14-10 to go here in the overtime. Offensive zone draw to the glove side of Aries Karanji. Sean Moore will take it against Ryan Desmond. Officials waiting to drop the puck. Off the draw, it's swept to the boards, Ross. We'll play it up the boards. Not out, Hannon in his own end. Back to Ross. Hannon lets it roll through for Declan Kelly. Who will throw this one down. Lippy is without a stick, but play is whistled down. Face off, we'll move back to center. Desmond and Moore again. A nervous energy pulsates through the arena. Ross throws it into the zone, glove down. Desmond somehow, Mudrick, even through the screen, able to make the stop. I did not see who had the screen in front, but it was a perfect one but somehow Mudrick still kept track of it. Moore and Desmond, third time this shift. Desmond, down low. Golato, trying to get around Holt, trying to get it in front. Jostled free by Holt and cleared to center. Giordano gives it to Hannon. Offensive zone, left wing, Golato wide! Moore trying to clear it up the boards. Can't do it, Mulholland. Tied up, Desmond jostled free, rolled around behind the net. Galato to it first, back to Hannon, left circle, poked away. Holy Ghost moving in transition, three on three. Moore into the offensive zone, blocked down and cleared. Galato touches it off for Hannon, trying to get it back to Galato, but it's cleared to center. Moore, Saravelli takes it away. Offensive zone draw, Mulholland down. Cervelli shot on, save made. Rebound, rolls back to setter. Mulholland is down, literally trying to crawl to the bench as the training staff will come and take a look at Kieran Mulholland. He lays face down at center ice, trying to get back to his feet. You hope it's just a cramp. Maybe trying to stretch out a muscle here with 12.42 to go in overtime. 
We'll take a quick break. With 12.42 to play here in the overtime in the Flyers Cup AAA final tied at one. Or surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Eldion Pagillary in Feasterville, Travos today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Kieran Mulholland, the injured Firebird, back to his knees, working his way to his feet. Good to see that he's okay enough. Easy for me to say I'm wearing a suit. 1-1 one, one our score, 12.42 to play here in overtime in the Flyers Cup AAA Final. Next goal, hoist the cup. Stout to take the draw against Patrick Brace. One by Holy Ghost. Chambers off the boards to Basher. Brace is in left wing. Shot pad save made by Karangi. Rebound swept all the way through. Sluck rolls it down low. Gregorio trying to settle the bouncing puck. Plays it back to Ducet. Up the boards, Carpenter plays for Carvalho. Skates through center, Carvalho on the left wing, banks it into the zone, Sluck throws it right back out. Carvalho throws it wide of the cage of Mudrick. Chambers in his own end. Up the boards to Purs. Through center, Stout two on two. Into the offensive zone on the right wing. Stout down low, trying to move through the slot, gets crunched by Ducet and Carpenter. Puck rolls to the boards. Basher shot blocked down. Ducet, the rebound. Trying to settle it into the slot. Gets it to Carvalho at center. Cross ice pass, Carpenter. One touch pass, Brace couldn't get his footing about him and he's offside. 11.43 remains here in the first overtime period. In case you're curious, there is an ice cut every two periods. So if we play 11.43 with no goal, there will be a full intermission. Whittock and Moore on the draw. Tied up in the circle. Moore takes a hit as it's cleared out. Mulholland is right back out there. Good to see that. Looks like it was just a cramp. Lippy plays it through center. Moore into the offensive zone. Moore right wing rolls it in down low. Moore behind the net. Tied up by Giordano and taken away by the Explorers. Racing forward the other way, Ryan Warner. Pass was deflected, no icing. Holt after it, able to win it and clear in front of Max Monzo. Deflected into the zone by Kennedy. Thrown right back to center. Moore gives to Mulholland, left wing onside. Mulholland, cross ice pass, blocked down. He'll try again. Looking for Cerevelli, taken away by Giordano. He'll give left wing. Galato down low, deflected pass, Desmond. Blocked on the doorstep by Mudrick. Rebound, Hannon, score! The Flyers' Cup, it's Ryan Hannon! Chase Hannon wins it in overtime for LaSalle. We get another look. Ryan Desmond denied on the doorstep. 
Galato found Chase Hannon in the slot. His second of the night. Beat Mudrick, glove side, to win the Flyers' Cup for LaSalle. What a moment for Chase Hannon. What a moment for the LaSalle College High School Explorers. Yes, heartbreak for Holy Ghost, but no reason to hang their heads. What a game this was. Colin Mudrick leading the handshake line with Aries Karanji. They share a hug with one another. They were both spectacular tonight. A lot of love for Mudrick going through that line. A lot of respect between these two teams. How could you not after a game like that? LaSalle wins the AAA Flyers Cup three to two. I'm sorry, two to one. The 70th shot of the night was definitive. Sailing past the glove of Colin Mudrick to win the Flyers Cup. LaSalle student section down at the far end. Explorers celebrating. It's the number one line of Evan Galato, Ryan Desmond, and the goal scorer Chase Hannon, who had quite the night, didn't he? Two goals for Hannon, a couple of penalties as well. But Chase Hannon is the hero for LaSalle College High School. Hugs being shared with the legendary Holy Ghost prep coach, Gump Whiteside. This the last game of his career. What a wild game. What a way to go out. Players lining up on the blue line for their trophy presentation as we take you to public address announcer Stu Fishman, who will have the all-tournament team.
What a night, what a hockey game. Chase Hannon. At the 6-19 mark in overtime, wins the Flyers Cup for the LaSalle College High School Explorers in AAA. What a night, what a tournament. Congratulations to the Explorers who advanced to the state championship game. They'll face Peters Township, but tonight is all about celebration for the Explorers. The girls final coming up tomorrow here on the Flyers Cup YouTube channel, powered by SFPN. Live from Iceland and Westchester, Daryl Dobis will have all the live play-by-play. -play. But to all the great crews throughout this Flyers Cup tournament, on behalf of the executive producer of the Sports Fan Base Network, Ari Bluestein, and all the great talent throughout the tournament, Bob Rochuk, Jordan Coons, Joe Torty, Carol Dobas, who will have the call tomorrow night. My name is Mike Samsel, wishing you a good evening and wishing congratulations to the LaSalle College High School Explorers, the 2023 AAA Flyers Cup champions.